la máquina deportiva, la factoría a nivel mundial de los deportes.
everybody for ourselves and winning. Winning at the end of the day, that's that's the one thing that we're here for. We just got to win ball games, and um, I expect nothing less. Keisha on the line. Go all the way. Do you think that you need to take the risk that there's less outside pressure for you guys to win and go all the way? And do you think that can be helpful, or is the group that's in the clubhouse? We in New York, there's not less outside pressure. There's always pressure, but it's a good pressure. You know, it's um, if you compare it to years before, yeah, there's not as many big names, there's not as many um, players making that much money. Um, so in a way, um, we're not in the top of the league up, a list of everybody. Um, but we are the New York Mets. Every time we step into a, a new field or um, even a city field, they're they're trying to beat us. You know, they're trying to they give us our their A game. So uh, that's something that's something I'm looking forward to um, because I know we got to go out there and prove ourselves. You know, it don't matter who we play, it don't matter who's on the other side. They're big leagues, big leagues as well. So um, the pressure is always going to be there. You know, the pressure is just. I mean, you don't, you don't go to every press conference and have 15, 20 um, media members and 10 cameras, you know. It, um, so there's always pressure, but it's a good pressure. It's a pressure that we all thrive on and we all look forward to. Or on the left. Francisco, how do you feel like your um, leadership style, I guess, has evolved since you first came to New York? Um, I've definitely become a more mature player. Um, a better person and um, someone that um, more more um, that you can come to me and uh, I listen a lot more. Um, so yeah, there there is there definitely has been some maturity in it. I have had ups and downs um, here, and I've learned from everyone in, in this city and this room and. In the clubhouse over there, you know, I, I, I ask all the time, how did I do today? You know, how did I do? How did I talk? You know, so because at the end of the day, it, it's, it, it's one of those that I continue to learn. And, and when it comes to the leadership part, um, as a, a, as, as a team, as a human, I, you know, I learn from it, and then I just pass it on and give the knowledge to others, so they don't make the same mistakes that I've made, or. Um, they navigate a little bit, a little bit different, or, or the same route. You know, have, there's some things I don't right? Um, so, yeah, I like I said, I'm more mature. Um, I listen a lot more. Um, I like the input when people give me um, input, and they come back to me and they say, "Man, I, I don't think this was right," or "Man, you, you managed that one very well." And um, yeah, I've definitely grown. And with that being said, we'll make mistakes, um, but. I'm more comfortable. I'm definitely more comfortable, and, and, and it feels like home. So whenever you, whenever you feel like you're in a place where you're home, you're safe. Um, you definitely navigate um, your day a little bit different. Andrew and Lutz. Francisco, obviously last year you had the 30-30-30 season. Have you set any personal goals for yourself heading into this campaign? Yeah, I would like to repeat and do better. You know, but. Um, Ultimately, what the biggest goal I have is winning. So, for me, it's it's one of those where where it's a fine line. You know, I do have personal goals. I do I do want to be the best version of Francisco and Dorday and Andeal. However, for me, winning it it solves every problem or every every challenge that I have. And and whenever I'm I'm playing winning baseball, whether we win or lose, um, I'm giving my best. You know my my mindset just changes. I don't go through emotions. So uh, coming in, it's, it's playing winning baseball, day in and day out. It's going to help the rest of the goals align. Hey, saludos, Francisco. Hey. Nuevamente tengo que hacer el tercer bate del equipo, la llegada de Jedi Martínez. Jedi Martínez es una adquisición muy muy buena, muy grande. Es eh, uno de los mejores bateadores que ha tenido la liga en los últimos siete, diez años. Eh, so, contento de que está aquí, que nos va a ayudar en algún momento. Entusiasmado eh, de aprender de las cosas que él tiene. Ha estado con muchos jugadores grandes en la, uh, que han estado en la liga por mucho tiempo. Él tiene mucho conocimiento. So, entusiasmado por, por, por su llegada. Eh, 
nos va a ayudar, pero sé que tenemos un buen, un buen grupo de muchachos aquí en Global que nos va a ayudar también, que, que, que vamos a seguir aprendiendo de ellos y también los muchachos de Liga Manuel que van a subir, que, que vamos a estar en una buena posición, ¿entiendes? Un equipo, un buen equipo, un equipo bonito, un equipo alegre, un equipo que, 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 que confiamos eh, mutuamente en cada uno. Sí, como tercer bate, como presidente. Bien, estoy ready, he visto la batalla, eh, tengo salud. Y tengo unos bateadores de frente mío y atrás mío, pero va a ser un año de decir, un favor de Dios. Timor, Mark. Hey, Mr. Phil. You've been with Mendy for a couple of guys, that's Carousel, Mendy. As part of the leadership group, it's his first opening day as a manager. Have you guys given him any advice? Um, I've talked to him in the offseason, and I just watched how he went about it day in and day out. And I mean, he's been around longer than me so um, he, he has managed things extremely well he, he, he seems like he's ready he's, he's, he's happy he seems like he's, he's very extremely optimistic and um, yeah I can't wait to be um, there tomorrow and witness um, his first day and, and see how nervous he's going to be and how anxious he's going to be and, and see if because in spring training everything seems like he, he, he was ahead of every move he made I can't wait to see when you know the lights are on and, 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 and watch him go about it. You know, I, I'm sure he'll be very prepared um, for tomorrow, and, and so is the rest of the staff. We have a really good staff here, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing him. When it comes to advice, um, like I said, I'm, I, I've gotten better at listening more than I talk. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how I wake up tomorrow. If I wake up in the Saturday mode, then. I'll tell you something soon. Francisco de Español para Telemundo. ¿Cómo te sientes de ya profesional y no novato, sino un veterano de dos feliz de mañana? Me siento bien, gracias a Dios, entusiasmado por el día de mañana. Eh, al final del día, sí, ya está muy noveno, Opening Day, pero me siento como un, como un niño, como un novato, entiende la, la maripotita eh, que le da a uno de eh, la ansiedad y esas cositas buenas, ricas que uno siente al, al comienzo de la temporada. Eh, estoy entusiasmado por esas cosas porque me, pues me gusta, entiende, me gusta esa sensación, me gusta sentir que estoy en el mismo nivel que todo el mundo y que y ahí uno empieza a, a, a subir la escalera día tras día. So, eh, el rey por el día para el día de mañana y, 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 y ansioso para que and final question all the way in the end of the last. Uh, hey, Mr. Joe, just seeing the players that are still here, I know roster cuts are going to be made probably today, but seeing the players who are still here, what did you sort of, what stands out to you about maybe strength of this team and just how it's constructed after spring training? Um, we have a lot of really good basketball players in that club. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just me. I can't choose. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, just looking at the guys, um, um, Everybody seems like we've been playing with each other for a while. You know, we've been playing next to each other for a while for some reason. You know, there's, there's a lot of new guys here, but it just feels like we're in a place where we're comfortable around each other. Um, and <clears throat> in Lucy, we have a lot of basketball. Here we have pool. We have many different ping pong. It's still not set up, but um, I feel like there's a lot of different games that um, guys are going to gravitate to and. and, and Continue to get more comfortable with each other. Continue to 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 grow together, pull the rope um, alongside each other. So that's what it has impressed me the most. How comfortable the group seems, and and whenever everybody comes in, you know, the smiles and and the willingness to go out and readiness to go out there and and practice. You know, even though it's a day that might be a little cold and, and wet. Um, Everybody seems like they're ready to, to take the field. So um, I like where we at. I like the um, I like the, the how the vibes feel in the club up. And I'll definitely get better at basketball. Did the basketball did the basketball group come north? No, they bought a new one. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we can't afford it here. So, um, it, it's yeah, it's a little different. I gotta get used to the room. Um, but I'll be good by the end of the year. One final one. Next guy. Kind of just to build off of that, you know, you mentioned your own personal expectations. Mm -hmm. How would you kind of describe the team's expectations and how much is last year a motivator for this club? 
I mean, it, it's last year's is last year. You know, you leave it in the past. It, it's one of those where nobody really cares. Um, we all have moved on. Um, we learn from it. But we are in, in, in 2024, and it, the expectations are to win. You know, nobody's just here saying, we'll see how it goes. No, no, it's, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to compete. And I say, oh, you better show up and compete. You got to post up. You got to post up. Um, we're all going to be there competing. Um, we got to play Major League Baseball. You know, with that being said, there's going to be tough days. There's going to be days that um, they're not going to feel like we are um, at our best. But that's every team. Um, and the beauty of, of Oakland Day is everybody started to the same record. Everybody started to the same numbers. So um, you get to build from day one and the season ends up climbing the, the, the most there. All right. Thank you very much, Francisco. Es diferente, lo me guau. Um, you know, I know uh, the fans are going to 
gonna be a, a big crowd and really and really happy for that all the fans enjoy this moment like we've been enjoying and you know ready to go out there so means a lot you know um it's it's really hard to be uh, hurt and you know like to say get that opportunity it just mean a big jump for me <laughs> Es un honor muy grande, muy, muy valioso para mí, importante esa responsabilidad. Eh, todavía se siente como, como la primera vez cuando eh, llegamos a Grandes Ligas. Es eh, una oportunidad brillante eh, tener el uniforme y tener la oportunidad de, de ir a competir, eh, disfrutar del juego. Significa mucho, así que eh, estamos aquí para disfrutarlo y para lo mejor de nosotros. Tú mencionaste que los fanáticos, aquí en Queens, donde hay más colombianos que en ningún otro lugar. Sí. Te da energía, te... sí, sí, mucha energía. Siempre eh, colombianos apoyándonos, eh, toda la, la nación latina, todos los, los fanáticos de los MES siempre eh, están ahí para, para apoyarnos y pues es un año especial para nosotros, eh, muy diferente y esperamos apoyar lo mejor de nosotros. Marco, Miguel. Sí, Outside expectations for the MES this year are lower than they have been in past years. After the whole spring, how do you feel about this team and, and do you think it's going to surprise the people? Feels great. Uh, we are feel strong. You know, um, our clubhouse uh, is excited for for this year. It's uh, kind of different than than last year, but um, we we are together. You know, we want to show um, how good we are, and and you know, day by day, ready ready to compete. So that's uh, that's the most important. Uh, make uh, the best effort, and and we're really good. So we we believe in that. And every day, you know, we're gonna um, step by step and, and start to do it, uh, our things. But um, it's, it's completely different uh, this year, and, and we have a lot of talent in here, so it's, it's perfect time to start the show. Finally, Mark. Um, obviously, a lot of new additions to this starting rotation. What do you kind of think about this group? This Great, uh, I think it's good. Uh, we have really uh, kind of miss good combination in um, our rotation. Um, guys with a lot of experience, and you know um, they they know the way for for a, bit, uh, a long time, and and that's pretty cool. So, uh, but always it's great to you know get get the experience for other for our teammates, for other guys to bring that energy. So how. How they how they face the game, how they they you know they prepare um, before games and all that stuff. So we I think we have a really good good teams in here, great talent, our rotations uh, gonna be great. And, and you know like like I said before, we need to um, believe in us and go out there the field to compete in great. Thank you. Bueno, Mendy es, ha sido muy especial para mí, lo conozco hace mucho tiempo desde la organización de los Yankees y, y hasta ahora ha sido una persona con muy buena relación y muy buena comunicación con todos eh, los compañeros, con, con todo el staff. Eh, muy, muy optimista con, con lo que tenemos aquí para, para este año y, y pues dame la confianza de, de ser el, el Open Day es algo que, que, que vale mucho para mí, muy importante y pues eh, saldría a dar lo mejor eh, de mí eh, para él, para el equipo, para, para toda la, la ciudad de Nueva York y, y a cada día prepararnos y a seguir eh, construyendo el año que tenemos más tarde por nosotros. Is there an added challenge to start the season without Bryce Bender continuing the ranks? Yeah, uh, you know, we miss him uh, for sure. He's um, going to be one of the best uh, pitchers uh, on the league, and, and he's a really good guy, too. So it's, it's amazing. So hopefully he, he back soon and, and he can, you know, help our team to, to be better every time. But yeah, for sure, it's. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's tough when you don't, got, you, you don't have a, a guy like, like saying the rotation. Um, I feel we, we are prepared, you know, to, uh, to, to compete out there, but, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Pat? 
Off that question, what does it mean to you that you're effectively the acting lead to go and handle the firm? So what does that mean to you that you're you know, more valuable to the firm in terms of all the things that you means a lot. It's a, it's a great responsibility. You know, it's, a, it's amazing. And um, I think uh, at this point, for me, is uh, just be ready to compete every every single pitch. You know, throw the ball with conviction and and do the best to get really good opportunity to win the game. So every every single day, uh, I've been I've been in this situation and before, and uh, the spirit I I get from the other fan is um, it's one more game. You know, you wanna you wanna do the best effort and show. Um, as an ace, um, I want to say is I an ace or no, but um, that one I'm, I'm I'm really good and I'm believing my stuff and I want to do the best after every every single time I go out there, no matter against um, what team or, or what pitcher I'm gonna face. But um, as I think that's a good to us to show every every single day or to how who who have the ball, you know and and. You know, day day by day, you're gonna you're gonna win that opportunity to be the ace. But it's amazing to get to have the ball for day one and show everybody, you know, I'm here. All right, Jose, thank you very much. Questions for Edwin Diaz? We'll start with Bill in the middle. Edwin, tell me uh, your feeling of pitching your first game since 2022. No, feel great. You know, my first, um, be back. My first game at home, you know, on the road. So that, that would be a pleasure for me, my teammates, my family, and the fans. Any nervousness at all? Not really, not really. I, you know, being, uh, this is my first time coming back from an injury. So, but at the same time, it's the same thing every single day. So, when I came, if I came to pitch tomorrow, we take it like normally. Tina in the back. Edwin, when the door opened and the trumpets start playing, because that's what everybody's talking about, the trumpets get to play again, what do you think you'll feel? What will the emotions really be? I will feel really excited because it will, will, will be the first time in 2022 I will pitch back home. I'm pitching back in a big league game. Uh, sounding the trumpet, I know the fans will be get loud. And I, I will feel it. I will feel the shield, but at the same time, I, I will try to do my job. With that? Edwin Gomez here, 6 11 here. Uh, what do you think about the new and enhanced trumpet celebration uh, that's going to be going on in City Field with the lights and everything this year? I haven't seen the, how the light will work, but I heard it's pretty nice, so can't wait to see him. I think it will be really, really good for the fans. You know, they, they deserve that. So let's see how that looks when I enter to pitch. Have you seen some of the other pictures around the league where they do that at other stadiums? Like, did you ever think one day, oh, that'd be cool if they do that at City Field? Yeah, 100%. I see the one from Bautista in Baltimore, that's really nice. I think Hensley from the Cardinals, he has one really good too, so I have it too. So let's see how, how that looks. Yeah. Edwin, when they played the trumpets for you during spring training to the game, did you feel any of that excitement or emotion, or were you like, oh, I can't tell? Yeah, I feel it. I feel it because I treat those games like a regular season game. So basically, my the first the month of spring training, first month of spring training, I, I take it like my first month of, of my season. So that's why I like to pitch when I pitch. I like to do my job because if I wanna do work in something, I tell the team I wanna go in minor league and work because I take the big big league game like a regular season game. So I feel like I was the fan was there with me and what feels really really good. Back. Edward, how hard was it for you last year when things were going so sideways here and you not be able to do any about it? How difficult was that for you last year? What's tough because, you know, I, I'm a guy who like to help the team to win every time. In any situation they need me, I, I, I will be there. Um, be out, been out like a year, you know, sitting in the, in the clubhouse, sitting in the, in the doghouse, seeing them play every single day was tough. I was supporting them, but at the same time, what? Well, I, I was thinking, you know, I, I wish I can be in the mound, help, helping the, the team to win. And what what tough in that part because you know what was my first time being injured, my all my career, and um, sitting that sitting down in the in the door was tough. Back. Para Telemundo, cómo se siente de regresar a jugar en casa en el Boston Bay? Me siento super feliz, me siento super contento de regresar a casa aquí, mi primera vez 
opening day, el primer día en Nueva York, este, y después de venir de la lesión, me siento súper contento y no puedo esperar a, a, a comenzar el juego y lanzarla frente a mis fanáticos. ¿Qué tan duro fue el año pasado usar en ese? Este, fue súper duro, ya que fue mi primera vez en mi carrera que, que no, jugó, no juego un año entero. Este, fue duro ver mis compañeros, salir a jugar todo el día, todos los días, y yo quedarme en el dobajo y esperando. Este, fue duro en esa parte, y, pero en todo momento ellos me apoyaron, yo los apoyé a ellos, o en esa parte me sentí súper contento. ¿Qué te gusta más de este año? Me gusta todo, me gusta cómo está la energía en el club, me gusta todo. Me gusta I like everything, man. I think we got a really good team, you know. We got to improve our defense. I think hitting department is really good. Our bullpen is really, is really good. I think our starting pitcher is really good, too. So I think we got a really good team. And we will compete this year. I think we got the chance to make the playoffs. Tisha? Hi, Atlantis. Given how you suffered the injury, is it in your mind at all, or have you been able to completely take it out, like in terms of how you might celebrate on the night and things like that? You know, I think I've been able to block it out because, you know, I, I have to jump. I have to do a lot of things in the, in, the, in the gym. You know, that was one of the best jumps. So, and I feel really good. So I, I've been able to block everything out, you know. And on the celebration, I will try to, to be careful. You know, after a big win, we, we celebrate and do, do all everything. But I, I've been able to block everything out. And I, I think that's not be any, any issue for me when after I finish a game. And what did you learn about Carlos Mendoza over the course of the spring? You know, I like I like Carlos a lot because he talks to us a lot. He talks to any every player, personal, and you know, during the meeting. Um, I love how he speaks. I like I like his mentality. Uh, he, I know he likes to compete, so that's something really good. I think it would be it would be great for us. Andrew, Edwin, at what point do you feel? Like you were 100 percent, and what was the biggest hurdle to getting to that point for you over this last year? Uh, I think uh, I was almost ready in September. I was was playing uh, playing really good baseball and had the chance to to make the playoffs. I was ready, but I, I feel 100 percent at home at spring training time because uh, that gave me another six months of working. So we worked really hard in the off season. I flew a couple of times to New York to to work with the team. Uh, they take care of me really good, so as soon as I think training started, I was 100% ready to go. Were you glad they kind of held off on not allowing you to pitch in September? Uh, that helped me a lot because I get, I, I get stronger. But at the same time, when I pitched in September, I was ready to pitch. I was ready. Uh, but when they decide to back it up uh, last month of the season, I was really happy to because that gave me extra time to keep working and keep, I think get stronger. At the end. Just kind of big picture, just what has this journey kind of been like for you going through the rehab, returning for spring training, now being ready, you know, to, to return to big league marathon? It's been great, man. My my uh, my rehab was great. I didn't have anything any issues in all my rehab. Uh, the performance team did a great job, the training staff did a great job. Uh, as soon as I get to spring training I was really excited because I, I will have the chance to be back on the mountain pitch. You know, I threw like at least 25 bullpen before I get to spin training. Uh, but I was, I can say, tired of that. I want to face here. I want to be in the game with the, with the team. And I still have that, that chance. I was really happy. Joe? Over the last year, since the injury, the surgery, and also the rehab, was there anything maybe new that you learned about yourself that maybe you didn't know before? I think uh, the hit, uh, eating white, I, was, I started eating healthy. The, the, the guy from the kitchen helped me a lot, the chef, and everyone helped me start eating healthy, you know. I think I improved that a lot. I feel my body feels way better now, you know. I was eating a lot of candy, a lot of those things, so they tried to cut it off a little bit, and eating healthy food helped me a lot, and seeing the process and got me better. Mark, what are you eating now? I th I'm eating, like, more, more healthy, like salads, all those things. Before I didn't, I didn't eat it. So they, they pushed me to, to get better in my, my when when I started eating food. So I'm, I'm trying to do my best now. Very specifically, uh, you said that the bullpen is uh, going to be really good. A bunch of new faces in there. Has that one stood out to you? And, and why do you think that this is going to be strong? I think because we got new guys, a lot of new new faces in the bullpen. And 
in the past I've been like Lopez being an upstart. I think Blue Ride is great. Big man is a um, veteran being a lot in, in around the league a lot. I think they and they will help us. You know, I think everyone in the bullpen had the chance to, to perform like really good and give me the ball in the night to, to win the game. And you along those same lines, do you feel like you have a leadership role within the bullpen given your past success? You know, I think in the bullpen we are all. I that's my that's how I think and that's how I speak to them. I, we are all the same, you know. Not because I'm the closer, I'm better than anyone. So I think everyone has their role, and we we push each other to get better every single time. You know, I think we look forward to to like to listen a lot to Otavin. I think it's the all the guy in the bullpen. I mean, he's he got a lot, a lot of years in the league, and every time when from. My person, I, I have a question. I go to him because he he's been a lot a, in a lot of teams in the league, and he got like more than 12 years in the league. All right, thank you very much, Edwin. Thank you. Diferente, lo mejor.